Meghan Markle and Harry hit back at hate and negativity as they call on people to vote. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry called on people to reject hate speech and negativity as they urged U.S. citizens to go out and vote in the most important election of our lifetime. The Duke and Duchess appeared on a Time 100 special hosted by U.S. TV broadcaster ABC last night. The show gave viewers an insight into the people featured in this year's prominent Time 100 list compiled by Time magazine every year with the aim of highlighting influential figures. Both Harry and Meghan featured in the broadcast, and took the opportunity to urge people to vote ahead of the U.S. election this November. Meghan said, Every four years, we're told, this is the most important election of our lifetime. But this one is. When we vote, our values are put into action, and our voices are heard. Prince Harry added, According to People magazine, as we approach this November, it's vital that we reject hate speech, misinformation and online negativity. What we consume, what we are exposed to, and what we engage with online, has a real effect on all of us. The U.S. is less than two months away from potentially voting in a new president or selecting Donald Trump for a further four years. Citizens are due to go to the polls on November 3rd. Joe Biden is the Democratic nominee to go head-to-head -head with Mr. Trump. Traditionally, Members of the royal family are supposed to remain impartial regarding any political matters. However, neither the Duke nor the Duchess explicitly voiced support one way or another for who should be the next U.S. president. It is not the first time the Duchess of Sussex has spoken out to encourage people to vote. Last month, she appeared as a special guest in a virtual discussion organized by the United State of Women and When We All Vote. She told listeners the election is so very close and added we all know what's at stake this year. Meghan said, This week we are recognizing the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment, which of course gave women the right to vote, but not all women, and specifically, not women of color. At this juncture, if we aren't part of the solution, we are part of the problem. If you aren't going out there and voting, then you're complicit. If you are complacent, you're complicit. The When We All Vote organization is reportedly nonpartisan though it was co-launched by former First Lady of the U.S. Michelle Obama. Despite Meghan and Harry featuring in the televised Time 100 special, the Sussexes are not themselves included in the most influential people list. The royal couple have been featured in the past, however. The two were named as Time magazine's most influential people of 2018. People included in this year's list include U.S. rapper Meghan Thee Stallion, British actress Phoebe Waller-Bridge, and U.S. health advisor Anthony Fossey. Meghan and Harry are currently living in the Californian region of Santa Barbara, having stepped down as senior royals this year. They are currently involved in producing their own shows for Netflix, having signed a prominent deal with the streaming service recently.